Hey everyone, welcome to Zeitgeist Zealots. I'm Forrest. I'm Major. And I'm Robbie. Matt. And Tip. And today we're going to discuss the Peacemaker finale and maybe South Park a little on down the road. Um, but yeah, like, let me, let's just go ahead around the table and let's just hear everyone's thoughts on the Peacemaker finale and like break it up scene by scene if y'all want. So Major, what did you, what did you think? Uh, 9.5 out of 10. Uh, probably some of the best television I've seen from Chekhov's Piano to Chekhov's Dye Beard. Just very satisfying writing uh, all around. Okay. Robbie? Yeah, I I liked it. I thought it, I was, I've been wondering about like what some of the other helmets would do and they finally revealed some of those. <clears throat> oh man, the, the human Ro- torpedo. Robbie, <laughs> Robbie, Robbie had the funniest, not to derail the for a second, D&D. Robbie had the funniest fucking joke from D&D last week. Uh, yeah, I thought it was the perfect dragon. time Wait, for it. Funnier than It's a Crap? Doubtful. Uh, no, it was a hundred times funny. I'm sorry. No, but like we were fighting the dragon <laughs> and then Robbie in the chat goes activate human torpedo. You were like, you were like crying. Like, yeah, we had, I don't know why. We had yeah, the like, webcams on. Though, and, like, dude, I was tearing up laughing so hard. <laughs> it was, it was perfect. Um, uh, see, I, I missed that reference. I, I just watched but not it anymore today. yeah but you're, you're you're all part of the joke yeah now. i guess it was only now you can have a delayed laugh during D was it just me and major who watched it or who all who all watched it? i i saw i just missed that joke oh i i did just put it in the D chat i didn't say oh, that the chat. Oh, okay yeah, yeah it sure. was in the yeah you were probably walked away i never or... looked at discord chat you know something like <laughs> He's like looks on looking at other like, tabs just wait for his turn why is he dying right now so, okay, did his character course. die? Huh? What? What do I have to roll? <laughs> <laughs> uh, Matt, I'm just RGM. waiting. Yeah, Matt, what do you think? We're too hard at that. <laughs> oh God! I cry. <laughs> I'm telling you, Rob's on fire, dude. Matt, what do you think about the show overall? I I am so happy that they announced that the second season has been greenlit. Um, the only complaint I can have about the show is that it wasn't 10 or 12 episodes. Yeah, right. I mean, this might have been the perfect amount yeah. of episodes, but also, you know, throw more money at James Gunn and make him write another episode. Yeah. It'll be more. a while because I think they're already doing Guardians 3, but... They're um... actually doing another Suicide Squad spinoff with a different gear oh, yeah. they haven't announced oh, who really? yet. Yeah. Imagine either Bloodshot oh. or Ratcat- Ratcatcher. I wonder if something's going to gonna happen with a uh, weasel. Yeah, he gets what was his identity? He barely had anything. In Twelve there, episodes, but, they, but then they had like, a, <laughs> or at well, least, a, was, or at least a reference to him, not like his own show. Well, <laughs> I because uh, they, you know, they I, even had like the end credit scene with them getting up and walking oh away, my but God. they didn't really say anything about it. Wow, Robbie really connected with this weasel character. I completely forgot about it. Well, him. I'm just like <laughs> curious. Because they, they didn't really, they didn't really well, say anything about it. No, they or unless they there was, right. unless there was something I missed. There. I mean, uh, uh, you know, just a, going a little segue. You know, I wonder if it's going to, because um, I've been trying to get into the comics for the Suicide Squad, and Harcourt eventually becomes like the leader, and they're setting up Waller to be deposed. Harcourt kind of took over the team and i wonder if that's what they're going to do with that uh thing and we will see weasel yeah i mean i since like the last suicide squad like uh movie like sort of bombed but you know there are so many great suicide squad movies like just from like the the Ostrander run from the 80s and then like you know the the other runs like the 2000s that like there's so many great stories they should just do like a suicide squad tv show you know um, i think the suicide squad was a great movie it's a great movie, but it yeah. didn't make me. I think it bombed because well, of the pandemic and because of the first movie. Bad word of mouth for that. No, so. no, it's it's Hollywood it's accounting. Not. It's Hollywood accounting. They released it on HBO Max, remember? And so yeah. even though it got yeah. like 10 million views the first night, uh, they count that as no revenue actually gained. Yeah. Even though they, they, WB was in a contract with HBO Max and is still mm. making money off of it. Yeah, you can't just look at the theater prices to theater so. revenue. Yeah, so they're just they're starting to release so many movies on streaming now. Well, it's just just how they're screwing over actors because they can claim no revenue, even though they're still getting revenue oh, from. Right. Yeah, didn't right. uh, uh, yeah. sued? I know, I know, Scarlett Johansson sued, but I don't think did Margot Robbie or 
Idris Elba threatened. Uh, I know some other people have sued, you know, over that too. So. Yeah, I know Nolan was mad, even though they 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 released Tenet in theaters, and he's still left Warner Brothers. They must yeah. be mad about that. You did like, everything uh, I wanted you to, and it failed. So yeah. <laughs> it's your fault. So now he's, his, next, his next movie could be with Universal. So I don't know. I'll, uh, I still haven't seen Tenet yet. I've heard like mixed things. This is like way too M U W B. It's it's on my queue at HBO Max, but I have not sat down to watch it yet. I started watching Gravity last night. That's like another one of those movies you heard good things about. Um, that was horrible. That was, that was horrible. And the first half was really good, just like with George Clooney and Sandra Bullock. But now it's George Clooney's characters um not in it uh Spoiler i just don't really care spoilers yeah spoiler. Spoiler. oh god i didn't oh, say what? what happened to him i just said you know you just said he's not yeah. in it yes yeah. yeah. second half it's like, uh, it's but like he might come back for everyone pissed off he might come back or yes. no be pissed yes. off tweet it yeah, that would be awesome like you just like the orbit of the earth like he comes around back again like give me five <laughs> Another show two. on HBO I've been into is uh, Raised by Wolves. If anybody watch that, or man, what a weird it. show! It does yeah. get weird, yeah. It's but so I've been weird. I've been into it. I kind of like it. Really I, heard, I, I was officially like, "What the fuck am I watching?" Uh, <laughs> it's that's why you watch it's interesting, it. Interesting though. It's an interesting story. And, There's a lot you of want to know. Who yeah, the you kind of want to know. Is, yeah, Rassal. there's definitely they still haven't revealed everything about that, but they're slowly feeding you little bits and pieces of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've seen Lost. I know not to get my hopes <laughs> up. Yeah, <laughs> you haven't seen what I've seen. Yeah. Major oh, so. permanently scarred yeah. by Lost. The, the smoke monster. Yeah, that fool me once, shame on polar me. bears. Fool me twice, shame on me. So, so tip, what do you think of uh, Peacemaker there? Oh, Peacemaker. Oh, yeah. we, were, um, we were getting all over it, the place. <laughs> That's right. Our faithful DM brought us back on course. Yeah, get yes. us back in there. <laughs> this um, is why we move an average of 1.2 rooms per per session. <laughs> yep, that's right. One one square one square every two hours. Yeah, and then we just talk shit. <laughs> but, <laughs> we um, just talk shit. Well, it also depends on how many Let's one liners here. Major wants to throw out there. Yeah. True. <laughs> True. Uh, what can I say? Bruce the Wizard is quite the, the funny man. man. Yeah. It's probably because he has a negative two charisma, so he's got to compensate somehow. Yeah. It, yeah. Well, so, uh, Tip, what did you think of Peacemaker? And then I'm going to ask Matt if he's going to see your charisma movie. Yeah. Your charisma movie. But yeah, let's see what you thought of Peacemaker. Um, I thought, uh, I thought the, uh, the threads that they use to connect the universe, uh, right there at the very end, oh, where the yeah. Justice League pops in, dude, I thought, oh, okay, yeah. so, so, sometimes in life, the, like, the real interesting drama happens in these, like, little tiny holes uh, of history, you know, these little pockets of history, and I like that they're, like, uh, playing with this idea like oh these little known people save the planet like basically from take over now I, superman could have come in and just laser eyed and all the just, butterflies and then justice and, league you know what i mean like it, it would have just yeah. been over you know superman's op but to see that like these people who are fragile and vulnerable um and like shot and like yeah. nearly killed um i really like that you know it's a suicide squad dynamic of like you know, the, the characters that you love might not make it through, you know? <laughs> well, they should have Superman to, like, go ahead and hurry up and get so. her to the hospital. Yeah, right? It's going to be like, Superman, like... So you want to help get her this? to the hospital? It's No, yeah. we're gonna, I'm going to carry her in slow motion while she bleeds out. Yeah. <laughs> yep. So, yeah, got to get that, that probably, awesome shot on the way out. It's a spoiler. What did y'all think of the Aquaman and uh, Flash cameos? Well, I guess Superman Wonder Woman were there, too, but... Yeah, they were just kind of their blacked shadows out. Were there. They were, yeah, they yeah, they didn't want to pay the actors. <laughs> don't have, don't have well, the funding for that. Well, they're filming <laughs> Aquaman two and Flash anyway. So yeah, just so I think out. those two are just literally on set. Yeah. So yeah, I'm ready um, to go. But like, dear Lord, what is wrong with Henry Cavill? Like, why will not? Why will Warner Brothers not do anything with him anymore? I don't know. I think it's Henry just... Cavill would have flown halfway across the world on a plane. He's obviously not the real Superman. To to have shot a five second cameo. Um, also, James Gunn said there's about thirty minutes of extended footage of Barry Allen and Aquaman, uh, the Flash and Aquaman, just ripping, just ripping each on each other back and forth. So I really hope that gets released. 
Yeah. Yeah, like for real. That'd be great. That rumor. Yeah, that'd be so much fun. Yeah, they're through. He's like, it's not a rumor, is it? <laughs> <laughs> it's a flash. Oh, yeah. I really hate that rumor. Yeah. But it's not a rumor. <laughs> He's just going to shut up. Shut yeah. the fuck up. All right, so let's go ahead and break down this episode then. Yep. Yeah, let's do it. So, yeah, so basically. Forest. <laughs> 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 Moderator. They get the helmet at the beginning and like geekly flies it over the barn and then like just flies away. That well, they had so the uh, the low gravity helmet start floating away. Yeah, she said, like, yeah, she, yeah, she yeah. said in a sentence, I, maybe we should say activate low gravity. And then just floats <laughs> And then the away. helmet starts floating away. And then so they basically, on like, yeah, there's so many funny was, moments. So basically, so anyone can deactivate that helmet if they want to or activate at any, at any time. Yeah. What if he went up and grabbed that helmet? Eagly. It was <laughs> a good thing she didn't say activate Sonic Boom because then they would have all just splattered. Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, my God. I didn't think of that. Wow. No, what right if there. that was the episode? What if that was the episode? And, like, the <laughs> and it just ends. Credits. <laughs> they're, all, yeah. like, they're, all load, they're all loading up the ball. Dude, the, the balls on the James' a... gun to end the show <laughs> like that. Like, if they were like, activate Sonic Boom. Pulse, and it kills all of them, splatters all the like, characters at once, yeah, and just make it slams the credits. All right, the they're going over on the that, plan. I would love that. Mic well, drop. Well, I thought, yeah. a, I thought a plot twist was going to be in the bag. They actually had the scabies helmet. Um, <laughs> and, they, <laughs> and then they don't realize it until they get it down there, and then they get the caterpillar scabies, and they all have scabies. Oh, yeah. That'd be great. Well, I like. Yeah, what's up with this scabies helmet? Because that's straight from the comics. I think, like in the comics, his dad's a Nazi. I love it. I think it's not a Nazi, but uh, I guess like to update it, they made him like a, a white trash, you know, uh, deep state neo Nazi. So, but I think I guess Robert Patrick will be coming back in the second season. I mean, I don't know how else he'd be able to get him there. He he killed him last episode so no i love this idea well no he came back uh, at the end of the episode remember that's what i'm saying yeah like because he killed him like this is the only way for him to come back it's like you know ghost dad yeah uh force ghost <laughs> so not, not wait so ghost dad. so if we want to become famous a, a common theme seems to be if you have two first names like robert patrick or Dean right? howard yeah, but right. think all the so, so for so Forrest, what would you what would your second name be? It'd be like Forrest, Forrest, Oscar, John, Franks, for, for Frank Forrests, Frank Forrests. Yeah, there's a Frank sorry, I, 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 I derailed the discussion with the. Uh, yeah, sorry. I'm, I mean, it's not it's a bad, nice, like, funny yes, ideas. Like, Matt, what what would your superhero or what would your comic book name be? Matt oh, Matthews. <laughs> Mad Matt. No, Matt Matthews. Well, you know, that's the Stan Lee thing, the alliteration there. Um, but uh, and I, I love it. I would be the Matt, but the would be in lowercase, oh. not capitalized. Yeah, it's like what Peter Parker, Matt Murdock, Scott Summers, Free Richards. Yeah, I mean not all of them, but most Bruce of them. Banner. That's the thing. It's it. Was I missing one? Uh, so, I don't know. But yeah, it's um I don't know. Looking forward to Peacemaker season two. I'm interested. Do you think we'll do another alien thing, or maybe it might be like a more like a um you know grounded. I'll tell you right thing. now, none of us will be able to guess what James Gunn's going to do next. But yeah. it's fun to speculate, so let's do that. What is going to happen in season two? Well, in the in the comics, like Peacemaker takes down like dictators. In the um, comics, <laughs> James Gunn said in an interview he picked Peacemaker because there weren't that many comics. So let's not. Let's let's just speculate. That's let's not true. rely yeah. too much on on the past. Wait, it's probably it's not cool gonna pull from that. If Gump is like his more like going back to like Peacemaker's roots and like made him more of like a like a world uh traveling, you know, guy who took down dictatorships. Yeah, I think we might see like now that I know there's more than one season, I think we might see like this might just be the beginning of Peacemaker's arc as Christopher Smith, right? Yeah. You might really see this guy develop and turn into a good person. And John Cena is a great. I, I really hope yeah. they, I really hope he hooks up with well, Hardcore. Okay, so John oh, Cena yeah, totally. standing standing over that ship. Or John Cena say. is an amazing actor. However, I think that the actor of the week is definitely the gentleman who plays Economos. So because oh, of that yeah. scene where he talks about dyeing his beard, it's yeah. like almost tear jerking how he delivers it. 
Oh man. Yeah. Right. Like <laughs> made Peacemaker oh. feel like such a jerk. <laughs> Just like, but let me ask you this: Matt, Was yeah. he sad that someone noticed that he didn't think anyone noticed he dyed his beard, or is he happy that someone noticed? I think he was now? sad. Someone, he didn't think anyone would notice. Yeah, he didn't want anyone. To uh, notice. Okay, okay. Yeah. So but then he, he just like kept pointing it out every time he saw him. You guys, see? I mean, he did a really bad job of dying it. Let's be honest. Well, so I mean, it gets worse through the progression of it. I, I wonder once. I, I have a fan theory. This is a dumb fan theory. But I have a fan theory that he stopped dying his beard after Peacemaker calls him out on it. Uh, I don't know. I, I think mean, it would stay in his beard. While, and, but... right, just, like... just look at episode one and then look at his beard in episode seven. And then tweet Maybe. us and tell me if I'm right or wrong. Maybe there's just like no time for him to do it. Yeah, he hasn't had time to dye his beard. Since episode one started, I don't know. Yeah. how much There's time do you think time. has passed? That's a great question. Can you believe how convenient it is that this all happened in Peacemaker's hometown? Like, yeah, yeah very yeah. convenient. Like Bell Rev, Reeve is in Louisiana, I think. So his, his house is probably in Louisiana, and like his, his I mean, beard dye and stuff is probably his house. Okay, so trailers are everywhere. He's like living in like a hotel with uh, Harcourt and Mern and uh, Odebayo. So maybe he just left his, his dye stuff at home. Oh, and so how about Probably. the scene where uh, Peacemaker had to make a choice if he was going to activate what? that torpedo into the, yeah. into the cow? Or, the oh, yeah, cow? what a moral decision. And kill what off the whole alien race that basically takes over human minds. Well, I mean, to be fair, yeah. there's only like two of them left. They <laughs> kill no. all the other bugs. Oh man, but no, like no, no, he no, comes no, up, no. he comes up to Did his house remember? and he only has just a little bit of that stuff left. Yeah. So no, remember that map and uh, that when he goes to shoot the senator, how they oh, show yeah. all the red of where all the butterflies the are. Yeah. That was just a few hundred. There's millions of these butterflies on this planet. They're all. But the die. fact that he still spares Goff after killing all the other ones is kind of oh, you so, know. But now that the cow's gone, they're just gonna yeah. slowly die out. Yeah. Well, they have they have uh, like supply, you know. But yeah. yeah. Right. I mean, oh yeah, they had that. They had a ton of supply. Yeah, you know, all boxed up and shipped out. How would how would that knock it out during like an autopsy? Because like if you're just gonna randomly drop dead, they're like, oh, I don't know what happened to them. They're gonna do an autopsy. They're gonna see a dead butterfly in their brain. Yeah. The, oh yeah, they're gonna start finding those. Maybe it's they'll the be in season state. two. And that's why we're masks now. Well, it's the whole idea I mean, of... You don't of, want a butterfly to go in your mouth. Yeah. Peacekeeper's dad is paranoid about the deep state, and Peacemaker is part of the deep state. So the answer is always the deep state. That's a good point. And you know what? I want to say for a second, I want to take a second and, and applaud James Gunn for not making a very easy political statement in the show about masks. Like, it could have been very easy to write in it, like, like a couple lines about, like, we should wear masks so we don't die. Right, because that's how the butterflies get it. Was anybody really face. wearing masks in the show? No, no I don't think, think so. they were. I don't think the pandemic just, did. Just, yeah, as, as I don't you, think that was part of any of it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Well, that's what I'm saying. Like, so like, I'm glad he didn't like try to be edgy yeah. or meta for a minute. Like a lot of people have been in these last couple God, years. All got so but the butterflies can go up your butt. <laughs> that's a good fucking point. <laughs> yeah, uh, that was part of that slide. Well, I didn't get to see I was, that. Yeah, I, really I thought they were gonna. I thought they were gonna reference that. Yeah, I thought that was going to be Chekhov's butthole, but apparently not. Oh, Chekhov's like butthole. 9.5. <laughs> 9.5 out of 10. I just Damn think... near close to perfect. The writing is so on point. If you rewatch the episodes, you'll notice uh -huh. little small things that appear slowly over the season. Oh, talking about rewatching. Yeah, what about the about dance? It. The dance makes so much more sense now? Yes, I saw the video about how like the dance explains the whole series and specifically when yeah, the people come them. in and it's kind of cool that they were able to do that. Yeah, very just overall just brilliant man yeah as I'm they reveal really different things you fools. you pick it out in the intro mm -hmm. oh like the gorilla doing. that was kind of like how they were moving their arms in the dance yeah yep. and then the, the like, butterflies flapping its wings or how how right. they take she his dad they take the mass off oh, yeah. um, i didn't think about that when he shoots camera yeah but uh, the the people who end up being butterflies put a mask on in the dance sequence. So oh, oh, I didn't realize that's that. why their hands that's go clever. over their head. Whereas for Peacemaker, 
out of bio and vigilante they make a gesture of taking off a mask because yeah. they're seeing reality ah. man they put a lot into that intro yeah yeah, yeah I watched Whoa. the I watched the featurette for it and they had like a really really uh, good dance um, instructor who you know it's like a mix of like um, uh, interpretation interpretive dance and you know hip hop yeah. dance so, I actually went and watched a little behind the scenes thing too of it yeah, yeah. Well, well, yeah. but but I think what's great about it is the very first time he saw that dance like my wife was like this is fucking stupid <laughs> and please skip it, <laughs> it going did grow forward. Up me too you know and you're just like but it's so goofy but in reality for how goofy and crazy it was like it had a point yeah 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 uh, that, that's kind of how it was it for deep. me so we also want to find out what Judah master was talking about the butterflies yeah. are not what you think they're trying to save us because we can't save ourselves it was a little talking about it was talking about climate change yeah but uh, also did you notice how Judah master wears green Yes. Oh, oh, I think you're reading too much into that, but I like it. Yeah, I well, like it. No, like color it's schemes, like a, a color schemes, uh, color schemes matter. That's right. Yeah. And, He's like uh, Captain Planet. Was a white dude in the comics, so I guess that like you know make him Asian too. Was he a was he a butterfly or yeah, just, just working with him? He was not. He was just working with them. Okay. I was always wondering that. Interesting that he wouldn't have been a butterfly though, because then he'd be, have super strength and he'd be he knew even him. better protector. He knew about him all though. Yeah. So yeah. why did he? Why did they not take him over? Well, because he like was the bodyguard for the senator. The senator revealed he was a butterfly, and he's like, "Okay, I'll go along with you." So if you're going along with them, you don't need to take over the human body because you only have a finite uh, finite supply of butterflies. Okay. Ooh, he loves so, those flaming hot yeah, Cheetos. Caesar powers, I would. Totally. <laughs> like, like almost every scene, he has flaming hot Cheetos. Yep. But, I'm uh, waiting uh, for to flick one of those in someone's eye. As a quick note, this little little uh, quick commentary. If you want to see a movie with great color palettes where everything has a meaning based on the color, Sicario, it is a phenomenal film. Is that Scorsese? So, no, it's... Uh, Denis Villeneuve, I think, right? Uh, yeah, Villeneuve. The, 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 the Villeneuve. He directed the Dune. Yeah. Um, oh, so Villeneuve. It has Josh Brolin and Emily Blunt. Um, it is a phenomenal... So yeah, it's a Villeneuve. Film. Um, Sicario is an American rapper and songwriter, best known for writing Traffic, a song. If I could go, the movie Traffic also has a different color palette because, like, there's like the um, the Mexico scenes are like in yellow. The um, the scenes with Michael Douglas are in blue, and then I think like um, there's a different color palette for like um, with Don Cheadle's character. So I think it's, it's similar. Yep. Um, okay, but uh, yeah, I don't really have anything else for Peacemaker. I thought it was good. Looking forward to season two. And no more DC content until the Batman comes out in uh, two weeks. Well, uh, so really quick, I'm actually quite interested. I don't know if they're just, they have a great PR team because they're saying one of the actors uh, had problems sleeping during the filming because of the Mm -hmm. guy who they got to play the Riddler Mm -hmm. and how like creepy it was. Like it it legitimately scared him as an actor. So. Great, great PR team because that's probably not true, but that's making me. Paul, Paul that excited. article is making me say like, I might need to watch this now. Matt, let me ask uh, you after this. what does happened it, to the joke. Yeah, joke I was gonna say, does it make you more excited to watch this than Jared Leto mailing used condoms to his coworkers and and co- co- <laughs> Wait, what, what a great performance that was. Okay, Jeez, okay. what a joke. So, what a so, joke. So Get my kids, it. my kids watch this show called Teen Titans Go. Which is hilarious because there's a I million jokes in it. <laughs> all right, there's an episode where they're all trying to sneak into the space and pretend to be the Joker, and Robin pretends to be Jared Leto Joker, and everybody is like, "That's not the real Joker. That's the worst Joker. They'll never buy it." <laughs> and all the guys, you know, that are guarding the place are like, "You know, sound the alarm. You know, that's not the real Joker." And then everybody like makes fun of him for being the worst Joker. And I thought that was <laughs> my kids don't get it, but I'm in the like background crying, you know. <laughs> yeah, I heard Teen little references. Complete it's abomination. For those who love the Teen Titans cartoon from the 2000s, but I don't know. Um, they did a parody of that on Junk Justice called Doom Patrol Go, 
And it's the same, like, it's like Beast Boy on Young Justice, like having like, a hallucinatory, hallucinatory j- dream. And he's dreaming of the Doom Patrol, but sh- the animation is just like from Teen Titans Go, but it's Doom Patrol characters. So, um, all right, but yeah, so everyone gonna be able to see the, the Batman in two weeks? Hells yeah. Me and Rob, me and Rob, Robbie are gonna go see it uh, Tuesday on the first because we got the early tickets. Um, and you're like NFT. kind of NFT. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. I, don't, I haven't received that yet, but I don't know. You can have it, Matt, for Major. Well, Major, <laughs> for Major, wants it more than what? anyone gives me. <laughs> yeah, he just said yeah. scam, so I'll take that. No, I'll it's... take it because I want to fool somebody into, you know, buying this thing that has no real value. It has value well, if well, I'm taking mine it to you. <laughs> yeah. Well, you value, know what also value has value? Assign. Value Fairy dust and dreams and rainbows that we can I mean, bottle. Dreams, dreams are very valuable, <laughs> and so is fairy dust. <laughs> Haven't bought any NFTs, but hey, if they well, give me one, I'll see. I what think happens. fairy dust is a slang term for something else, which is valuable, but also legal. Uh, for us on this podcast, we call it spice. Spice, spice. The spice must flow. Yeah. The spice must run. The nutmeg mm. must flow. So, um. Yeah, so I guess we talk about South Park. Because <laughs> no one watched The King's Man, right? No. I watched it. I never watched it. Spider-Man. Yeah, I must have misread your text. I uh, I watched Spider-Man, No Way Home. Why was Electro the there? Man. This is the question that's literally coming Wait, together. Where, where did you watch Spider-Man, No Way Home? Is it on Disney? No, it's on a, yeah, in a theater. Yeah, I actually left the house and went to the movies. Yeah. Oh, brave man. Uh, but, like, so Electro, Cody. the spell attracts brings in all of the people who know who Peter Parker is. But Electro doesn't know who Peter Parker is. Now, I could chop it up to bad writing, but later on in the movie, Electro says, what? I thought Spider-Man was black. So he, in the movie, he didn't even know who Spider-Man was. So It's also a multiverse. There? Who knows what kind of universe yeah, But like the spell in. attracts, you know... <laughs> The people who know who Peter Parker is. That's how they got all those villains. But yeah. Electro never knew who Peter Parker was. Why isn't there more outrage on the internet about this terrible writing? Well, they had to have they had to like find a way to get Electro in there. So they were just hoping no one would notice. But yeah, I didn't even think about that. But I didn't uh, either, actually. You know. I think the only reason that movie Major just I mean, big brained it. I'm just it no dude. Keep, 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 we well, gotta remember the old reason. Up at night. They brought back all the old villains because Sony's being really stingy with the villains they haven't used, like Craven and Morbius. Oh, uh, Matt uh, Arnage reminds me that we should say spoiler alert. A spoiler alert. <laughs> Whoops. It's we've been out that, for then. literally two months. Yeah, it was the last theater. Uh, it was playing in the last theater. Oh, you see a dollar theater? No, 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 just the last theater that regular AMC. Well, and I still saw it in so. quote unquote IMAX. Oh, Man, I guess you probably talk about the Multiverse of Madness trailer, the new one. Guys, what is going to happen in this crazy ass movie? Hey, Googling it with Electro. Yeah, you're not the only one. Patrick Stewart, apparently. So the Illuminati is going to be in Multiverse of Madness, it looks like. Well, see, <laughs> Pat- Patrick Stewart, there we go. So, is it a council of reeds? Is it a council of it's, stranges? It's a council uh, of all like the most powerful beings in the Marvel universe, like Professor X, Doctor right. Strange, uh, Iron Man, Black Bolt. I mean, yeah, I'm familiar with the Reed Illuminati. Richards. From, yeah, I'm just talking about like this upcoming movie. Well, it's, it's like, like another. Ver- see Black it's like Bolt another version of Iron. Man. I don't think we're gonna see Black Bolt. No. Not, but I think like we might see Tom Cruise, um, Tony Stark. We might see because he was originally that would cast be a fun for rumor. RDJ. Yeah, yeah that'd be. We a fun might rumor. see um, Ian Bruffud back as Mr. Fantastic. I'd like a quick uh, Ian. I own Bruffud. It's a very Gaelic name. Uh, for Magneto, that'd be really fun. I, I would much rather a Fassbender be the actual Magneto that they keep for the next twenty years. So it would be cool well, to see like an Ian McKellen. Cox, Is he alive still? Charlie Cox, yeah. No, what? No, you're not listening to what I'm saying, bro. I'm talking about Magneto. I'm talking about I, Daredevil. I never saw the Dark Phoenix, so. Never, no, 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 you saw, no. X- you you know saw X-Men 1. No, no, no. We were supposed to have a whammy night where we all uh, watched that together because um, you guys have made me watch so many horrible movies for this <laughs> podcast. 
Yeah. Um, Yay. And surprisingly, surprisingly, this night always falls through. Are we talking oh, about the birds? Oh, I'd probably be down. I could probably watch it tonight, though. Is it, was it on, like, Hulu? You know, I think it's on HBO right now. Okay. Or it's on FX. Tonight. FX, so you can probably get it on, like, YouTube TV or, or whatever your provider is. Yeah. Well, I could watch tonight if you don't want. Yeah. Well, we're we I don't have tonight like... available. Thank uh, you. When is when are you available? I'm I'm busy. Tomorrow's President's Day. <gasps> Not President's Day. We will yes. discuss this over the text. Yeah. Well. <laughs> no, right, I think so. yeah, all our listeners want to hear how we try to make plans. Oh, and then oh, they oh! Fall we got to talk about uh, Moon Knight trailer. Again? Is there no, a the new, new one? one yeah, there's a new one. Oh, oh the I Super Bowl. I didn't see it. But that was uh, like a week ago. I missed that. But it was oh, wait, like did we talk about the... the episode, though? Oh, that was after the last episode. Man, this has been the longest week. So what did a we... great game, though. What I what I bailed out, did we talk about Patrick Stewart? Um, no. No, we didn't. We just said he's, he's probably going to be in the movie. So, he is. Who's and the bad the X-Men, guy? The X-Men are going to come out. Yay. And probably Fantastic Four. Now, when is, ni- when is X-Men what? 97 coming out? Uh, the cartoon? Uh, probably yeah. later this year, maybe early next year. But I'm looking forward to that. That's why people come to our podcast. Yeah, you know, for the the probably release dates. I need to so. rewatch the series on Disney Plus, but uh, so yeah, good. that's definitely probably the best anime series. Summer 23, based on a comic book since Batman or Spider Man in the 90s. So I was definitely looking forward to that. Um, I'm trying to remember what else. The storylines are thick, bro, and the acting is so 90s. So everyone, there's a meme on Facebook or whatever online it shows like, um, you know, Spider-Man acting. It's like the scene from Spider-Man 3 where Peter's watching Mary Jane and like above in the balcony, you see um, Harry looking at him sinisterly. And, it's, and then above Peter, it says like Spider-Man thinking it's the Earth, the first MCU movie, and then it shows um, James Franco oh, saying X Men: Wedding of Multiverse Madness come out. It's <laughs> pretty. But there should be one above that with uh, uh, Wesley Snipes saying um, Blade when Multiverse of Madness comes out, because he could also be in that one, and that would make Blade the first MCU movie. What? That would be fun. So, what other what other cameos do we want to see in Multiverse of Madness? Well, I'm sure we're gonna see like either some of the Fantastic Four from the the, the Fox movies, like I'm uh. guessing. Be more specific. We're trying to have fun here. What's his name? You want to see Reed Richards? We're gonna see Reed Richards. Maybe like Miles. Tell. I doubt we're gonna see any of the the recent 2015 Fantastic Four because those were just awful. Or that was yeah. just awful. Chris Evans is Human Torch, probably. That would be hilarious. Yeah, I would enjoy that. See, there we go. That's what I'm trying to get from you, Forrest. What about you, Matt? What do you want to see? Or who do we want to see? Oh, Nick Cage, Ghost oh, Rider. gone. So I guess we do Robbie. What about you, Rob? Well, I'm a big Iron Man fan. And oh, someone mentioned... I watched a thing about uh, what actor might they be using for... Tom Cruise. A new Iron... oh, okay, Tom Cruise. Yeah, Tom Cruise. Yeah. I'd be interested to see choice. how that goes. I'm a big Iron Man fan. I love the first Iron Man movie. Yeah, I've watched then, it so many times. And then, uh, <laughs> and then it all went downhill after that one. <laughs> yeah, the first one's definitely the best. Yeah, third. I mean, third one has moments I enjoy, but yeah, uh, second one was just they were trying to set up Avengers that wasn't even like a real movie. Um, and it's a shame because that it could have been so good because it could have done Demon in the Bottle or um, the second movie. You all loved it when it came out. We've just been spoiled since. It was then. it was fun, like as I was watching it, but it doesn't, doesn't really have a lot of rewatchability in the first one. That's, yeah, that's great. I'm never gonna watch Thor: The Dark Door again. So. Oh yeah, I, mean, I would never rewatch that. I didn't even like enjoy myself while I was watching that one. <laughs> Dude, couldn't even enjoy myself. And then the MCG just like made it so important the for MCG Phase Three. Well, they mentioned. Well, I'm Dark I'm a big a fan of if, if you're not into so something. Which is why I don't like game that much. If you're not into something, what tip? Oh, I said if you're not into something, I'm a big fan of just like turning it off. Yeah, just dropping. Well, it. I'm in the movie. Well, yeah, theater. I won't, I I won't even finish the stuff. movie theater. I've walked out. Oh. Of movie yeah. Oh well, I guess if you, if you paid money, no, nope. some there's some fucking cost fallacy. You still have an hour of your life you can get back. First of all, true. I'm pretty sure you stayed the whole time during Dark Water with Jennifer Connelly, and then you were like leaving the theater and just like yelling top of your lungs, "Don't see Dark Water, it's awful." 
So I think like God, maybe it was so bad I blocked it out of my memory. I haven't thought about that movie in probably fifteen years. Yeah, remember your and then you then you us. act then you actively deterred people from seeing. You were like on soapbox, <laughs> like you go see dark water. It's yeah, it, it's called being a philanthropist. I'm trying to give back to my community, I'm trying to make it bigger, better yeah. by helping them avoid t- terrible movies. Yeah, back when comic movies are very rare. Not rare, but just not good. So I imagine we're it's seeing like Nicolas Cage as Ghost Rider. Now. That'd be a cool cameo. Uh, maybe Wesley Snipes' Blade, as I mentioned. Uh, ben Affleck as Daredevil. What? Dope. Yeah. Yes. Uh, wow. I thought Ben Affleck was already... Yeah, but he, he this would just be a, a dumb cameo. Yeah, this is a quick cameo. Uh, maybe uh, Eric Bana as Bruce Banner. Oh, Edward Norton. What they brought Edward Norton back? That would like, oh. yeah, was like, you know, because like Edward Norton's supposed to be the MCU Bruce Banner originally. Yeah. But they never mentioned that casting. Dude, but well, they brought back Terrence Howard as War Machine. How do you think they're gonna explain? The yeah, exa- there's no way. That's why it won't happen because they can't explain it because they, they were supposed to be the MCU versions yeah. and, they, and they just recast them. So maybe Luke Cage. Yes. Jessica Jones. Or no. yeah, I was I, that. That's where I was going to say when you were like, "Hey, who would you like to see?" I would be like, "I would like to see Jessica Jones." Luke Cage was so good, though. I think like the dialogue. Like of Luke character. Cage. Yeah, I just think like like Luke Cage, uh, played by Mike Coulter. I think I just love Mike Coulter. I think mean, he's a fantastic. He was like he's perfect for this role. He just plays it so well. Uh, John. And then John Bernthal as Punisher could also come back, although. Apparently he's a right wing character now. I had no idea, but I don't know. I, I, I think I read online they're trying to change his skull logo because it's been adopted by the, uh, the what do you call it the the right the alt right or whatever. Yeah. So they're oh no, the skull now. So, but I mean, I'm sure some of them That's have Captain America shields too. You know. Um. Oh, I was yeah. googling stuff for related with the X Men. and ran into this picture of Daniel Radcliffe dressing up as Wolverine. It's actually a really good picture he did. It's basically gonna be like in the multiverse of cameos. Oh, and of course Ryan Reynolds is Deadpool. Yes, I want to see Deadpool. I think MCU. like they're working on Deadpool three, so they gotta like find a way to get him into the MCU. So, Rob, this yeah. is interesting. I love the, I love the. Uh, Deadpool movies and just Ryan Reynolds in general. Yeah, first one was great. <laughs> Second one was like um, had suffered from Iron Man two itis, just like trying to set up too many things without being an actual movie. So. Breaks the fourth wall all the but time. But they did. But they did. They did set it all up. Yeah, X Force, which didn't happen. A cable movie, which didn't happen. A Gambit movie that didn't happen. Uh, yeah. Daniel Radcliffe looks like he'd be perfect to play like a young. Uh, Oh, so you found that picture? Yeah. Yeah, he posted something on Twitter like on the 11th. You know what would have been a great Wolverine? Uh, Scott Kahn. Remember him from Ocean, the Ocean's 11 movies? Oh, like yeah. Five, five. 25 years ago. I remember that. No, yeah, I but he's know, like 5'5". Five, five. So if they cast him like 2000, he would have been perfect. Oh, are you one of those people who are obsessed with Wolverine's height? I mean, the whole point of a Wolverine is that they're small, hairy creatures. So you can't have like a guy who's six foot you know playing yeah, you I, mean, but, I mean Duke Jack and Luckley did, did a fantastic job but yeah I would prefer like a more height accurate Wolverine <laughs> I don't is care he, is he usually short yeah he's, he's a That's he's a like short little munchkin cool. it's like cause you know like you know uh, he's laughable at that point how many five five really hard to take seriously Zero. exactly J- so, Judah, like, every, every superhero like Batman Superman you know they're all six feet yeah let's, let's have one for the short guys you know? Geo Master you have one <laughs> What? You're, also, you're also not short anymore, Forrest. How tall is he? How tall is he? I'm just saying for other 5'5 five, five guys out there who have no one to look up to. Well, they have everyone to look up to. But, uh, you know, oh, so is this he looked up to before the ghost part? No, I just like Wolverine because, you know, that's like one of his characteristics that I think makes him stand out and makes him different. You know, he's not like a perfect specimen like Captain America or, you know. Right. Okay. Um, I mean, he is. I don't know. When Hugh Jackman Parker. played him. Yeah, He's that's pretty, pretty close, close to perfect, perfect specimen. <laughs> like, oh my god. Yeah, but he did have the hair going on though. He was adequately hairy enough to play Wolverine, so you know, he had that going. Um, did did the they paste drops. that hair onto him? What? I'm sure. Did they, did they like glue the hair onto him? No, it was all natural. Was it? Uh, I no, mean, he's at an age where he's pretty hairy. I mean, he was pretty hairy in the first movie. He had like a hairy chest, so. Um, 
because remember his shirt was off like half that half of that movie so um but anyway yeah so multiverse of madness cameo cameos i wish they would just do like a, a straight up doctor strange movie i don't really care about seeing patrick stewart or all these characters back but it seems the direction they're gonna go so like i'm gonna like be optimistic about it much prefer just like a standalone Doctor Strange movie because that's why I like the first Doctor Strange so much because it very much is a standalone movie although it does set up time stones so um but so yeah, how powerful like is Doctor X wanna, like you know set up yeah. other movies and have as many cameos as possible so so you I understand about cash grab? what are you, you worried about this being a cash grab oh they're all cash grabs but I would have just preferred, like, as a Doctor Strange oh, fan, I just like a all of Doctor cash grabs. Do you think? What? Do you think Infinity War and Endgame was a cash grab? Oh, yeah, because they made more money than any other movie. No, 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 no. Being successful and being a cash grab is not the same. Infinity thing. War was a good movie, though. But so not a cash grab. A cash what? grab is like a blatant just excuse to try to make money. Like yeah, Sharknado yeah. Seven's a cash grab. Well, so is Jurassic World Dominion. You know, boom, roasted, got him, and that made over a billion dollars. Dress World. I don't know how much the Fallen Kingdom make. I'm sure it made a lot of money, but I'd never seen it. I just like didn't care because I didn't like the first Dress World. It was not good. Nope. Yeah, I'm sure Dominion's gonna be like is also meh. Um, but yeah, that's really all I have. So we're at 50 minutes. Um, uh, did anyone else see the Moon Knight trailer? Yeah, I watched it on the Super Bowl. I can't remember. There's, I think it showed more of um, just more costumes. I think cool. it. I think it came on, but everybody was too loud to really hear any of it. What was y'all's favorite? <laughs> I was watching uh, the Super Bowl. I mean, I'll tell you, everyone's favorite commercial was Coinbase's. Uh, I'm sure was everybody crazy. was just like screaming, waiting for it to hit the corner just right. Yeah, and it finally I did didn't at the think end. About like you take my phone out. Oh, what did y'all think of the Arnold uh, Zeus commercial? It was uh, there was so much potential, and then just like well, I don't well, you know, his first movie was Hercules. So I thought it was like, oh, it's finally come around full circle. Yeah, yeah. I guess none of y'all knew that. His very first movie was Hercules in New York. And yeah. if you ever thought you were, could make it as an actor, watch that movie because his acting is horrific. Yeah. You yeah, just it's to, like you, you just have to go through the gym like, every day. He's like stating his lines, not even like emoting at all or anything. <laughs> He'd be perfect for. Our and then his next his next role was <laughs> Conan, which is a little bit better, but yeah, Hercules in New York is like one of the worst movies. Code. Should they only a rip track? They haven't made fun of it already. Conan. He did Conan and then he did Terminator, and that's like probably his first. Well, Conan the Barbarian is a good movie, but Terminator is probably like his breakout role. I mean, one of my life, one of my goals in life is to watch every Arnold Schwarzenegger movie, so I'll have to watch it eventually. <laughs> well, you had a racer, I remember, at your house, and it was just like, you know, uh, I've got, I've seen quite a bit of them. Yeah, I don't know. I, I don't think I've even seen Predator all the way through. I've seen like bits and pieces on. TV, but it's just never, I never can catch it when it's starting. So. Have you seen the Predator song? Do you mean the musical? Yeah, Predator the musical. Yeah. Uh, no, no. Oh, so yeah. funny. I'll There's put like it, I'll put it in the channel, Discord. Like, musicals of all the Arnold Schwarzenegger movies. Yeah, I'll put it in our Discord. Uh, if you want to join our Discord, you can find the link on our Twitter. What's our Twitter? It's a great question. It's Z Zealot Podcast on Twitter. That's again, that's Z Zealot Podcast on Twitter. Tweet us. Tell us what you thought about Peacemaker. Uh, should there be a second season or should we just you know leave with this amazing taste in our mouth what do you guys think tweet us let us know do you really really do you really want to taste it again see he knows he gets it he gets one yeah. he, he gets the jokes he's smelling when i'm stepping in yeah all right well that's our show everyone i'm forrest thanks for listening i've been major and i'm robbie and you know, I was it. thinking with the, um, you know, that final scene right after the credits. Yes. And I'm tipped. No, oh, okay. I was, right. I was, yeah, Bye, everyone. <laughs> <laughs>